Hey guys, it's your boy Rux and <coughs> satire intro. <coughs> I'm gonna show you this cool kind of glitchy artifact fractal type of way to achieve glitchy sounds. I know that doesn't make sense, but you'll have to hear it to understand what I'm saying. Um, just want to kind of say I translated the idea that Mr. Bill came up with. Um, his is, it's called like circuit bent tricks. I put a link in the description so you can click on that and check his out. His is in Ableton. I just kind of wanted to elaborate on doing it in FL studio because I feel like it would be beneficial. It's a really cool trick. So check him out. Make sure you sub to him and all that shit. Um, sound shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to show it to you. And this is a track I've been working on and you'll get it when, when you hear it. So here we go. It, it starts, starts, it, it starts, starts, it, it starts, starts, it starts, it starts. Yep, hella cool. Hella cool. Basically, everything came from this clip here. This melody is how I came up with that entire section. Now you're probably thinking, uh, oh, wait. And I'm going to tell you, it's really not that complicated. It, it seems really unconventional and because it is it doesn't follow any specific rules you're just kind of doing random shit which is my absolute favorite thing to do so <coughs> excuse me i'm still a little sick uh i'm gonna try to mute it mute everything so you can kind of hear it you know solo i'm very very unorganized uh so give me a sec I know this has some of the glitch, but it's all right. Um, also, the bass, I did the same thing with the bass. Not, I mean, I kind of did. The bass was weird. We'll cover that in a different video. But uh, this is solo. <laughs> Now, kind of by itself, it sounds a little weird, but, you know, when you layer everything together, <coughs> it kind of just sounds nice. Now, the reason why you would want to do something like this is because these effects and weird little artifacts of sounds you get happen through, I guess you could say, error. They don't, you know, it wouldn't be something that you would synthesize yourself. Um... I mean, you could, but I would imagine it would take, you know, some time. Um, I'm going to literally use the same synth that he used because just I kind of like the presets. Now, presets. Hmm, I can already hear people getting mad. This is what he does, and this is what I did. So this is 13. Make sure I'm in 13. Blah, blah, blah. Put in your Edison and look at this. This is already. This has already been chopped up, or not really chopped up, but recorded. And I didn't realize it was still in here. So this is what apparently I had last. This is what I chopped up. Now, there's some really weird glitches in there. Obviously, by itself, as it stands now, it sounds like complete garbage, and you don't want to use that. 
so I'm going to show you me actually doing it. I'm going to keep that one up, though, because I want to keep that Edison. <coughs> so what you do is you're going to loop it in the background. So just... Now that already sounds cool. But um, what you're going to do is pick one of these or pick a few of them while it's going and just on play. <sighs> hit the record button. And I'm going to randomly hit these or start using my arrow keys and randomly let them go either on time or off time. It doesn't really matter um, as long as, you know, you get those weird little artifacts. And you can do this in any synth, really. I just happen to like zebra or zebra. So let's, let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so we got a bunch of random shit. And you're probably thinking, that sounded awful. Yeah, it could. But that is when you <coughs> take your time and you put it together, which we're going to do. And it's going to take a little time. This video is going to be a little longer, but I kind of hope that, you know, you get something out of it. Now, there's some extra things you can do with Edison that I do like to do, do so for example you can blur your sounds kind of get a nice <laughs> kind of like that so i'm going to drag and drop it going to undo that so we can have it back to normal and then another thing that you can do pitch it down Entire octave. You can get some interesting sounds. I forgot that I can't talk when that happens. Um, you could even pitch it up, which we're also going to do. And the reason why I'm not pitching it up in the channel properties is because I prefer the way it sounds this way. Wouldn't it be funny if I just... I mean, that sounds rather interesting. So, let's just do some cutting. And mind you, I know it's not going to sound good for now, but let's just show, you know, what kind of things you can do. Um, I'm going to bring this back because I want this in the background still. Uh, right here. I'm going to turn that off. Let's do that. 
just do that. I kind of would like. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to do this for the whole video. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time, but you kind of get, you know, the grasp of what you can do here. It's all about, you know, following kind of some bit of rhythm. <laughs> Kind of scrub through here. You could even, you know. So you kind of just take that concept and run with it <clears throat> and you can get some interesting stuff and just keep doing it. And even, even after that, if you really wanted to, you could just re-record it out, which is what I did. <clears throat> so like I soloed just, you know, the, the actual sounds that I got out of it. And that's how I was able to come up with this thing. Ah, uh, this thing here. Oh, let me uh, take that out. And that's just running through uh, Fruity Granulizer, which is one of my favorite things to do. I'll have to do a video on that as well. Um, and then you got these little artifacts here. This is what I chopped up to come up with some of the sounds in there. I ended up reversing one of the things that I got. Really interesting sounds, just really interesting way to approach making music. Um, I'm all about, you know, doing shit in a very non-conventional <coughs> manner, um, but get fucking weird with it. I know I always say that, but I, I mean that. Just get weird. Think outside of the box when you're making music because you can really pigeonhole yourself when you think that you're stuck in this set of rules. You're really not. And um, just do weird shit. Obviously, if you keep doing stuff like this, it's, you know, if you follow the same pattern, you'll end up sounding like other people. But learn from that. Take this and do something else with it. Like get a batch of bass presets. <clears throat> kind of make yourself a, you know, a bass line or some sort of bass line. And then use this idea to resample that and then create a totally new rhythm out of it. There's just, there's so much that you can do with this idea that it just kind of blows my mind that not, you know, a lot of people do stuff like that. So I highly recommend you give it a try. If you do something with this, totally leave like a link in the comments and let me check it out. Cause I'm curious to see how many other people utilize this. I would really want to see people use this trick and you know open up new doors maybe you're having a creative block or whatever but um yeah if you like this like it and comment subscribe and i gotta go to the bathroom so bye